What's going on everybody? It's the Hook Cam back again with another film breakdown and today we're going to be taking a look at Travis Kelsey. Um, I'm a little bit late to the party here. All right, I'm going to be honest, a little bit late. Things are pretty wild right now in my life, but I am not oblivious to the fact that Mr. Travis Kelsey signed a four-year, $57 million extension to stay in Kansas City. I mean, have the Chiefs made a wrong move this offseason? I feel like everything they've done is just, like, I look at it with with a great deal of approval. Everything they've done just seems to be the right move. I don't know where they're getting this dough from, but they got it. They're spending it the right way. They're keeping core pieces around. And they're going to be a problem for the rest of the NFL for a long, long time. But today, we focus in, like I said before, on Travis Kelsey. Now, before I dive into this video, before I start going into why I think this dude is such a stud, why I think he is arguably, um, or actually, no, I, I really do believe he's the biggest receiving part of this offense. In fact, I would make the case that he's the biggest part of this offense outside of 15. Um, and maybe Mitchell Schwartz. But before I dive into all of that good stuff, if you could hit that like button, hit that subscribe button to my channel, The Hook Cam, as well as the Jackson Kruger Sports, that would just mean the world to both of us. Uh, we're both cranking out content. He is doing a phenomenal job of producing uh, good videos, right? Good breakdowns, all that sort of thing. So a massive shout out to him, Jackson. You're a phenomenal human being. Love talking with you, buddy. And I look forward to doing more content in the future. Now, with all that good stuff being said, let's take a look. At Travis Kelsey, what he does so well, why I believe he is so important to this offense. Um, first things first, just the mere amount of targets this guy has. He had 136 targets last year from Patrick Mahomes, according to Pro Football Reference. Um, and really, it shows a couple of things. Number one, the Kansas City Chiefs do a phenomenal job of putting him in a situation where he's going to win one-on-one -on -one matchups. And number two, 15 trusts him more than anything else, right? And he's probably one of the older pieces of this new age Kansas City Chiefs team um, outside of obviously a couple of other guys. But he just, he's, he's so good in open space. He's so good at running routes. I focus a lot on his receiving game here. I really don't go into his, his uh, pat, or excuse me, his run blocking game. Um, but he, he really is just an outstanding football player. So with this first clip right here, quick play action from Patrick Mahomes, what we're going to see from Kelsey is, you know, one of the things the Chiefs do so well is they run crossing routes. These routes across the field, obviously, as they are described with their name. But what he does here is he's going to stem this thing inside, and what we're going to do is we're going to get that linebacker right there to turn those hips facing the quarterback right now. Now, as soon as he does that, boom, quick chop of the feet, and we're working back out this way. Now, it's a couple of things with this play, right? First and foremost, Phenomenal job from Travis Kelsey of executing. But I do believe that the coaching in this situation is so huge. The fact that you can take advantage of defenses like that, you're really just kind of creating that perfect combination of really good route runner as well as great offensive mind with Andy Reid and Eric Bianimi. I feel like I pronounce that name wrong every time, but Chiefs offensive coordinator. Now, phenomenal with route running. Great job with the combination of offensive coordinator and tight end. But what I love about Travis Kelsey is if corners try and press him, it, it reminds me a lot of Gronk in the sense of they're either, one, deceived by his size and his speed, or two, they're not big enough and strong enough. Now, in this situation, this is a really good example of just how good he is one-on-one, -on -one, right? So off the snap, we're going to give that quick little shimmy right there. Really, it's a lot of that head work. He does a really good job of that, getting corners to think he's cutting inside, cutting outside, whatever, because they don't have a lot of time to really make this decision. We try and punch with that outside arm and then run this dude to the sidelines if you're that cornerback. Use the sidelines as your friend is what I believe that they're taught, but he's late because of this hesitation right he's a little bit late and he's on to be honest with you he's not strong enough to do that Travis Kelsey does a really good job of engaging with that and then dipping that shoulder right underneath so that he doesn't have a plane to work with now once we dip we give it's, it's supposed to be an out and up which he really doesn't even need to do because that corner is beat but he doesn't obviously he doesn't know that but again we're just beating him straight line working to that pylon making sure that that safety is not going to be able to get there phenomenal ball from 15 no questions about it but just that ability off the line of scrimmage I love from Travis Kelsey here we go again against the Baltimore Ravens a little bit later in this season, I believe the next week. Um, we're matched up. He's that point man in this bunch formation. This dude's going to try and just play a little bit of bully ball with him, and it's not flying with 87. We're going to move you right off the line of scrimmage. We're going to toss you wherever we want, right? We're, I mean, the Ravens are bracketing Travis Kelsey as we work up field. Uh, the entire week of practice, I'm sure they're being told, we got a friction 87. We can't let him get free releases. Well, I'm trying, coach. I'm just getting tossed eight yards up field, right? We're working down this way with this safety. He's out of the play. 
But again, I love the physicality of this. I love that he's able to work off of this man coverage, get across the field, just kind of reestablish himself, re-navigate, and get into a spot where 15 can get him the football. So really, when you look at it, if you're trying to press him, you're probably not strong enough, and he's deceptively fast, so what do we do? And there's not a lot that defenses can do in that situation because he does have you beat in a number of ways unless you want to go and dedicate two guys to him, which not a lot of teams want to do because then you open up guys like Tyreek Hill. You open up guys like Sammy Watkins. So they really put defenses in a bind that way. Now we look at what Travis Kelsey can do in terms of yards after the catch, and this is something that um, I think flies under the radar a little bit. I don't want to say that, you know, oh, it's this, you know, underappreciated talent. No, not really. It, he's, he's really good at this, though. I mean, this is something that the Chiefs do a lot, especially early in games. I like to run this RPO stuff. This isn't an RPO, but really the gist of this play is the same, right? We're trying to threaten here. This is just your really classic um, sprint out, right? Your sprint out almost flood combination, right? We're working a little corner right here. We're working this curl right there basically as a pick, and then we're working out to the flats, really kind of like a pick route. But Chiefs run it so well. Who cares, man? I, I, I can't stand when people complain about the whole pick route thing. It's part of football. They have a rule in, established for it. With that being said, Travis Kelsey in the open space, phenomenal Phenomenal job, man. Just able to avoid tacklers. Great body control out of this guy. And for a dude who's not small, he's a big cat. Um, but once again, just his ability in open space, I think it's something that may be a little bit underappreciated. Constantly targeting him on third down. The Chiefs do this all the time. Third and eight, third and seven. They're going to Travis Kelsey. And he's a lot of times he's going to be able to pick up that first down. Here we go once again. The Chiefs love to do this. Isolate Travis Kelsey um, on one side of the formation. You have to dedicate a cornerback to him. And a lot of times you like this matchup, right? So we get that quick starter step corners not biting on it we're going to cut this thing to the inside corner does a good job trying to work there but once again the combination of offensive coordinator and travis kelsey what are we afraid of as a defense that big crossing route right well he shuts this thing down and works back out to the sideline right here great route but again just the physicality at the top right some guys get a little freaked out by this i see it with a lot of rookies where it's like at the top of their routes they get friction and they're not used to it well 87 is used to it man we work this dude right by us open up a lot of space for 15 to get us the football and then we're up and running for a big time first down and, and i do focus more on the playoffs in this situation just because i think that the chiefs had such a historic run and really travis kelsey i think was such a big part of of it that I, that was really the reason why I wanted to, to highlight this part of his game from the past season once again working off friction at the top of routes th this isn't easy to do man I mean we're getting beat up by two guys in this situation but we just keep working across the field um, a lot of effort out of this guy you know and he's definitely more of a flashy tight end in terms of he's going to catch the rock more than you're going to know 87 for for you know run blocking but he does a really good job of working across friction working across contract contact and getting upfield for a big time game and he does this game in and game out for the Kansas City Chiefs you know he does a little bit here and there in terms of chipping like we just saw here and it's you know that's more of just a game plan thing I don't think that's specific to Travis Kelsey but what I really liked about this here is that the Titans are going to work into a cover two here right we're working with this safety and this safety which means that we're responsible for the flat with this guy but he's going to sink obviously this middle of the field player right here since we're working out with these two to really take care of this trip side he's really just kind of going to work into the middle of the field right he's looking for that first threat naturally with these guys though their job is to stay in front of three which is exactly what he's doing right there eyes are away good route from Kelsey but also just noticing the coverage right we're not going to stem this thing to the outside and get into it run ourselves into coverage we're going to sh shut this thing down right in the middle of it um, comes back to the football once it's thrown just very technically sound I think is what I appreciate so much from Travis Kelsey and again just he, he's a good football player man he's a great route runner for a tight end he does so much for the Kansas City Chiefs game in and game out like I said targeted the most on their team I think the next targeted guy was uh, either obviously Sammy Watkins or Tyreek Hill and it was still a solid 40 targets less than Travis Kelsey just insane but here we go again top of the formation here Travis Kelsey working against his friction at the top of his route this time cornerbacks trying to play off almost trying to catch him a little bit right we're turning our hips right here thinking that he's going to break this thing to the sidelines no he cuts this thing right back across that friction at the top you know Gronk did this a lot when he was playing for New England um, sometimes it gets called sometimes it doesn't really I think what the referee is looking for is the extension of the arm if you keep that arm closed and you're really doing with just the elbow it's okay uh, I, I don't mind this stuff though and some people might complain but really what I'm trying to show in these situations is that Kelsey is the go-to guy for the Kansas City Chiefs game in and game out he is absolutely a staple of this offense and I really do believe he's the second most or third most valuable player in this offense I think that obviously Mahomes is number one uh, Mitchell Schwartz uh, is number one a or two and then Travis Kelsey is right there the dude is just an absolute stud mismatch problem and I think the Kansas City Chiefs 
just made the right decision paying for him and keeping him in Kansas City for another four years. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I did ramble a little bit. I just enjoy being with you guys. You know, I don't get to do this very often. I'm a busy guy now. But when I do, I do enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, if you could hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, that would mean the world to me. Football season's right around the corner, fellas. We are so close. So uh, I'm excited. Going to be a lot of breakdowns coming your way. But anyway, that's all I got for today. Stay safe. Wash those hands. And we'll see you next time.